right, men. I need you all to keep your eyes peeled. Who knows if those creatures are lurking around. Look sharp. As soon as you see something move, snap a picture as fast as you can. America! I've been looking everywhere for you! Why are you in West Virginia? Glad you asked, DC. Aside from being a delightfully charming state, West Virginia is home to such crypts like the infamous Mothman and the eerie Flatwoods Monster. I was up for adventure and let the country roads take me here. So now, me and the boys are trying to get a picture of them. Are you being serious? This is crazy! I know, right? We've been looking all day and we only got a picture of Bigfoot! That guy's so overrated. Sir, this is not the time to be playing around. There's something we need to discuss. <sighs> I guess I'm off to the White House. See you folks later. Do call me if you see anything spooky. Please don't call the White House if it's not something important. So what is it? Sir, I believe I've encountered one promising opportunity to acquire land and expand. I say we begin our negotiation endeavors with the 11th most extensive country, the Kingdom of Denmark. No way. Is that the little country on top of Germany? Indeed. But let's not forget about the enormous island they own. Greenland, I believe, if we manage to acquire said territory, it provides with extensive supplies of oil and fishing commerce, and may provide several strategic military posts. Leave it to me, I'm gonna strike a deal with Denmark. After all, I am the absolute best when it comes to negotiating. Then I wish the best of luck. May our endeavors turn fruitful! Please don't screw this over. Hello, Denmark. I have come to acquire Greenland. Is it for sale? No, it never was and never will be. Oh, but let's talk money. Would these American dollars change your mind? Sorry, I'm not interested. That's not going to happen. Denmark was reluctant to sell it to me. Man, this used to be so easy before. Remember the Louisiana Purchase? Only the greatest of negotiators, such as myself, <gasps> could strike a deal that would double a country's territory. For dirt cheap. Man, those were the days. What a fine Thanksgiving dinner this is. I'm so glad our country's doing so well. We became independent, we ratified our new constitution, admitted new states. We're killing it in every way possible. <laughs> you got it. We've worked so hard these last years. Having a dinner seemed appropriate to remember everything we're thankful for. Just take a look at this feast. Yes, it's good, but uh, I get a feeling that something's missing. Uh, there's no corn? Well, we don't grow corn here in the East Coast. We buy it from farmers east of the Appalachian Mountains. That's a bummer. This meal would only be complete if we had some corn. Let's have someone go get us some. Sure, if you're willing to wait. Hey, here's the corn you asked for. What are you ta- Oh yes! I forgot we asked for those! It's been weeks since Thanksgiving, man! Why are you showing up now? But I'll gladly take the corn off your hands. So explain yourself. While I was eager to get these sent out as fast as possible, I simply couldn't. Crossing the Appalachians with our current 18th century technology was impossible, so I had to take the alternate route. I had to travel down the Mississippi River and then head my way here through the ocean. But being that the Mississippi and the port city at the mouth of the river, New Orleans, are controlled by Spain, it only made the whole shipping process more difficult. You went through all that hassle just to get here? Yes, I think I need a raise. I just thought of something. I'll try to buy that city from Spain. Good thinking. Having control over the whole place would make transportation and shipping way easier. Then worry not. I'll put my superb negotiation skills into good use and you'll see me return victorious with that city flying our beautiful flag. Gotta appeal to my trade partner. Hey, España, amigo! Venga, tío! You look different than what I expected, but you're looking pretty... Guay, culega! What? Please, tell me my Spanish was absolutely perfect, or else the green owl might try and eat me in my sleep tonight. Swear to God, this owl just attacked me. I swear to God. Oh my God! Oh sh I don't speak Spanish. Listen. What? 
Then my whole life's been a lie! <laughs> no, I get it. The proper way to call your language is Castilian rather than Spanish, huh? America, it's me, the French Republic! Republic? Oh, so that's why you're rocking the good old red, white, and blue now. Fits you pretty well. We. Oui, I had a little revolution in my own. It was kind of brutal. Wait a minute, wasn't Spain supposed to be the one in charge here? Spain and I held a secret treaty. We traded some land I owned in Italy for the Louisiana Territory. But don't tell anyone. We don't want Britain to know. Then that means... We're gonna be neighbors! That's great. If the Brits try anything funny, there'll be no match for our joined forces. America, don't forget what we came here for. We really need to get the city. Oh right, I digress. I'm here to buy New Orleans from you. I could really use that money. I'm thinking about invading Britain for everything he's done to me. France, I know the Brits are a real pain, but you can't focus your whole entire self into them. How many times have you screwed yourself just to get revenge on the Brits? To be honest, plenty of times. By funding your rebellion, I got myself into a crippling debt that led to a bloody and violent revolution on my country that overthrew my centuries-old monarchy. Yes, that is a shame. But you are fighting for a good cause. You're right. My top priority right now should be to take over Europe first, and only then I'll fight Britain. Yeah, you do that, buddy. But now, let's talk money. How does 7.5 million dollars for the city sound? I'll tell you what. Because you're my friend, I'll let you have the whole Louisiana Territory for just 15 million dollars. Now that is a deal I will gladly say yes to before you have time to reconsider it. But why, though? This place was never worth it to begin with. Plus, there's a chance Britain and Canada might take it if war were to happen. I just don't want Britain to have it. Sacrificing something because you hate Britain? Now what did we talk about? I shouldn't be telling you this, but I'm planning something big. Europe will fall into my hands. And while I'm busy there, Britain will take over Louisiana if I'm not here to defend it. Your ideals of freedom of democracy are worth admiring. Let them live forever and do not let anyone take them away from you. Thank you very much, France. Good luck with your Napoleonic Wars. This is really great and all, but the Constitution doesn't say anything about purchasing land from other countries. Should we go against our Constitution? It's our greatest work. You need to see the bigger picture here. Who could say no to this? Our land has just doubled in size, and I haven't been a country for more than 30 years, I might add. Not bad. I say we stretch whatever the Constitution has to say about this just this time. And that's how the Louisiana Purchase was an absolute success. All thanks to me. Sir, that is indeed an inspiring story. But we have a lot of stuff to do. We need to work out our trade deals with... Yeah, hello? Oh, for real? I'll be right there. Sorry, DC, I'm gonna have to leave this one to you. Just this once. See you later. Well, I've always wanted to sit in the chair. <laughs> Uh, I might as well just do it now that I have the chance. <laughs> Before we finish this episode, I would like everyone to know that Coral Tea now has a Discord server. Link in the description below. But anyway, that was the story of how I let America have that big chunk of land which is now worth trillions of dollars. But I'm glad the Brits never had it. So don't ask me for more land because I'm not giving the remaining islands I have away. But um, the reason why I'm here is to tell you to subscribe to Coral Tea if you want more videos like this in the future. I think that's what he told me to say. Anyway, au revoir! Hey, and thank you so much for watching this episode. These are the featured fan art of this month. Don't forget to join my Discord server if you want to send your own.
Big props to our voice actors over here who have delivered beautifully once more. Alright, so some people got mad because I rickrolled a bunch of you last time. So, to make up for it, here is my long-awaited face reveal. Yep, that's me from 2013, I think. Oh, were you perhaps expecting more recent pictures? Well, maybe later. <laughs>